<clears throat> hey everybody. So I'm just gonna talk a little about bit about the A's 2010 preview. So this year the A's of uh the Oakland Athletics, I think they're gonna be pretty good. And I, this isn't just my opinion. This is if you look at their lineup, they got a whole bunch of good players. Um, let's check out their roster. They they got some new pickups over the season like um Kevin Kuzminoff and Ben Sheets. Kevin Kuzminoff is a big hitter. He can get them some big home run hits and power in the lineup. But also some softies. And then you got um, Ben Sheets. He might need some recovery time, but it's pretty good. And you got your rookie pitchers like Brett Anderson and others like that. So, yeah, their starting lineup might be a little bad. But if they, they, if they might get some more tr um, pickups over the season, they could be a little bit better. So, yeah, they just need to improve a little bit more, and they'll be good. They could be playoff contenders, but the American League West this year might be pretty hard to beat. Um, so, let's check out their roster. All right, so for starting pitchers, you got Brett Anderson, Dallas Braden, Trevor Cahill, um, Justin Dukesher might be used as a reliever or maybe this year possibly a starter. Vin Mazzaro, he was not that good last year, but he might have improved. And then I think that the relievers for the A's will be very good. They can close out the 7th and 8th innings, but the ninth innings will be hard, because they got the All-Star, Andrew Bailey, and Just the Dukesher could come back, and then you could play Michael Wirtz and Brad Ziegler in the closer position, and then let's go down their position. So for catcher, of course, you'll have Kurt Suzuki, their star, and then you got Landon Powell as a backup DH. And then the infield, you have Derek Barton, Eric Chavez, Mark Ellis, Kuzminoff, and that's it. And so that will be a very good hitting rotation. And you got some all um all stars there like Kuzminoff and Chavez. But Chavez really needs to come up this year. He hasn't produced the cut last couple of years because he's been over an injury. And then outfield you got Coco Chris, Coco Chris, Travis Buck, and Ryan Sweeney, and maybe Rajai Davis sometimes depends on what you need at the time. So yeah. And then you got Jack Cust, of course, as your DH if they sign him for some more years. So that's pretty depth. And then, of course, you got um, Bob Jer Bob Guerin. And you got some new hitting coaches. And third base coach, Mike Galeo. Mike. And then, yeah. And so I got some tickets for this year. And hopefully... It will end up good, and they will have a lot of good ideas. So let's check out their division. Let's see. So schedule. Let's go to MLB.com. Alright, so in the division, you got the Los Angeles Angels. They lost to Vladimir Guerrero, which is a big deal, but they did get some good pickups over the season, so you never know. Texas, which is coming up very good. They did very. They ended the season 87-75, and 75, which is very well. And so they might be a good contender. And then Seattle, everyone's saying they might do good, but I just don't see it. They have the, they have the good pitchers, but the hitting lineup just isn't, isn't reliable. And then you got the A's, which will be kind of even until probably the beginning of the season. They'll go like, they'll probably all do around the same. It'll probably be between 15 to 10 games back. So, yeah, the A's could possibly be playoff contenders. And 
I don't think the World Series, but you never know. Alright, see you later for some more reviews. If you want any more on the, I can do some SF Giants, and yeah. So, if you want any tickets to the games, if you live in the Bay Area, go to elkenathletics.com. The link will be in the sidebar, or sidebar over, over there, or there. And so, yeah, check it out. Peace.